So in this video, I just want to quickly outline the differences between ischemia and hypoxia. So ischemia consists of the word ischi and emia. Ischi means to hold back or restrain. Emia means blood. So altogether, it means to stop or hold the blood. Hypoxia, on the other hand, consists of hypo, referring to the low amount, and oxygen. Altogether, it means oxygen deficiency. So ischemia is the most common type of cell injury. Ischemia usually happens due to the reduced blood flow or reduced venous drainage. So you can imagine that once the blood flow to a tissue is obstructed or it just doesn't get out of the tissue, the problem wouldn't only be lack of oxygen but also the fact that nutrients aren't getting into the tissue and the metabolites are not getting out of the tissue. So in ischemia, not only aerobic metabolism is restricted, but also anaerobic glycolysis gets compromised after a while once we run out of the already existing substrates or due to the accumulation of metabolites that have to be cleaned away by blood flow. So ischemia, among other problems, can also result in hypoxia. In hypoxia, on the other hand, energy production continues via anaerobic glycolysis, unless like ischemia in which delivery of substrates for glycolysis is simply compromised. So you can imagine that ischemia would cause a more severe injury. So as we mentioned before, hypoxia can be caused by blood flow obstruction or ischemia, of course, but it can also have other causes, for example, insufficient hemoglobin. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want, you can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget to take a look at synapse.org.